Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my winter candle collection. So I have quite a bit here. I have Bath & Body Works, Three Wicks, Single Wicks, and then a few from DW Homes. So um, it's quite a few, so let's just go ahead and get started. So I just counted. I have 12 Three Wicks from Bath & Body Works. I have three Single Wicks, and then I have two DW Homes candles. So let's do the Three Wicks first. Um, these I all got at the last three week sale. I believe they were $5.95 or $6.95. So these are the three that I have. The first one is Frosted Cranberry, which I actually have yet to burn. I'm sorry, guys. I had to put on the ring light today. Um, so that'll have a little glare to it. But I love this polar bear on the front. And I actually haven't even burned it yet. But it smells so good. I love Frosted Cranberry. I have it in the shower gel right now in my shower and I'm like obsessed. It smells so good. Um, they don't put the notes on the single wicks anymore, which is kind of a shame, but that was Frosted Cranberry. And then I have Peppermint Marshmallow, which is slowly becoming one of my favorites. And I used to think that I hated um, marshmallow scents from Bath & Body Works because I had had the Lavender Marshmallow three wick before and I hated it. Um, but Peppermint Marshmallow is really, really good. Mm, it's like a very sweet pepperoni scent. I don't know how to describe that. Um, no notes, but I'm pretty sure it's like homemade marshmallows and peppermint something. But it just smells nice and like sweet and it's not overpowering. It's also like a really good one that I've been burning at nighttime and it doesn't leave um, too strong of a smell when I'm trying to go to bed too. So this one is really, really good. I definitely love it. I hope they come out with a three wick in it again next year um, because they did not bring it out in a three wick this year. So sad about that, but glad I got the one wick. The next one I have is Tis the Season. And I was actually unsure if I wanted this in a single wick or a three wick. So to test it out, I just got it in a single wick. Mm, this one is a beautiful rich red apple scent. Apple, cinnamon, clove maybe some pine or something. I think there's like a tree note to this. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's a really good um, Christmas candle. It's like a very spicy, apple-y scent. So this will be good. And I think I'll still burn this in the fall next year too. And then we're gonna do the DW Homes candles just cause there's only two of them. Um, the first one I have is Peppermint Bark. This one's really gonna blind you guys. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay, it's fine actually, we're good. Okay, so this um, packaging on these DW Homes candles are just gorgeous. They had another one that's like a Christmas tree scent that's um, green, and then they had, I think, a gold and a silver one, and they were both like um, New Year's scents. But this one is peppermint bark, and when I tell you it smells exactly like peppermint bark, it really does. It smells so good. It's like peppermint mocha. It's literally just chocolate and peppermint. So simple, but really, really good. I haven't, I've burned it a few times and I haven't gotten it to pull out like quite correctly just yet, but hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. But DW Homes candles are honestly really, really good. They are a great brand. I got mine at Marshalls for $7.99. Um, they have this and many other forms of the DW Homes candles at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods. So if you're ever looking for them, they are there and I highly recommend them. And then this one, you'll never believe that I also got it for $7.99 at Marshalls. This is Christmas Morning, again from DW Homes, but it's huge. It's a three wick. And I bought this one last year, actually. I burned it quite a lot last year. It's literally just a coffee scent. It just smells like milk and coffee, like Cafe Ole almost. Um, but I've never gotten it to pull out correctly, but also it's huge, so I'm not surprised. Like it's very, very big. Um, but I've burned this a few times this season too. And just like a beautiful coffee scent. So if you come across Christmas morning and you like coffee scents, you will definitely love, love, love this scent. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the big mamma jammas. We're gonna move on to the three wicks from Bath & Body Works. I have them in my candle day bag right next to me because there's exactly 12 of them and that's how many fit in the Bath & Body Works bag. So let's pull out the first one. And I'm actually gonna do my um, two ones from last year first. So I have spiced gingerbread right here. 
This one is so cute. I loved this packaging last year. This is like the holiday traditions packaging from last year. Um, spiced gingerbread is vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. Just a really good spicy gingerbread scent. Um, this is how I wish that gingerbread latte, the body care, smelled like. But then people probably wouldn't like it that much. But anyways, it's kind of a light thrower. Um, I would say it's like light to medium, but it's really good because I just burn it in my bedroom. It doesn't really matter. Um, I also have it in my project Use It Up, so it has a little mark on it. I've burned it maybe three or four times already this season. It smells really, really good. Um, yeah, spiced gingerbread is a classic, but it is a lighter scent, so if you're not into that, don't recommend it. But the next one is Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. I got this at SAS um, during the summer. And this one I think is from the, what was it called? Like Sweet Shop Collection or what was it called? Bakery, Bake Shop, I don't know. Um, but the lid is really cool. It's just a bunch of like houses. So that's really nice. And this one, to be honest, almost smells exactly like pumpkin pecan waffles. It just smells like caramel and like maple maybe with a little bit of spice or exactly like cinnamon rolls. Can't really tell the difference, but it's like a nice, super, super, super sweet scent. It's almost cloying that it's so sweet. So I can't let this burn for too long um, or else I'll get sick of it, but it's really pretty. And I have this in my project use it up too. The next one that I have is actually an online exclusive and this is Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. This one is not a strong thrower, but the other night, um, and maybe it was like 30 minutes before I went to bed and I was thinking, oh, let me light a candle. Wait, let me not do that because I'm about to go to sleep. So I just like left this next to my bedside table with the lid off and it smelled so good. My whole room just smelled like marshmallows. Oh, it was so good. Actually, I think the marshmallow in this is very similar to pe peppermint marshmallow. Can I talk? Oh my God. I think the marshmallow in this scent is actually the same exact marshmallow that's in peppermint marshmallow. Um, this just has that mintiness to it. Whereas this is just like, I think it has the vanilla bean from vanilla bean Noel and the marshmallow from peppermint marshmallow. That's what this is a combo of. And I've heard it's like a lighter scent when you burn it. So I'm okay with that though, because I don't really want like knock you out of the house since I'm just bringing it in my room. My mom doesn't like the smell of candles that much. She's fine with like plain vanilla candles. So she'd probably be fine with this, but she does not like strong scents and neither do I. So the, uh, the notes on vanilla bean marshmallow are a comforting vanilla fragrance that evokes the sweetness of a homemade marshmallow with essential oils. So it's like one of those sentence ones. Um, oh, I forgot to give you the notes on cinnamon caramel swirl, my bad. Um, the notes are gooey caramel, grated cinnamon, vanilla bean, maple brown sugar with essential oils. So yeah, this smells exactly, exactly like the uh, scent notes. That's kind of crazy. Although I'm not getting much vanilla bean, but still very, very sweet scent. The next candle that I have is another gingerbread candle. This is gingerbread marshmallow from this year. And I just had to have the packaging on, on this. It's so gorgeous. It is fully wrap around uh, packaging. I got this at candle day and mm, it's a very strong gingerbread. Okay, wait, I'm noticing how many marshmallows since I have now. Wow, okay, <laughs> I think that's three. Um, oh, it smells so good. I don't actually smell much marshmallow in this. Um, the scent notes are gingerbread spice, eggnog, I don't get any eggnog. Spiced rum, vanilla frosting, and brown sugar crystals. Okay, there's not even marshmallow in the scent notes. Hmm. I don't know if I get spiced rum. Oh no, I definitely get spiced rum. Wow, that was weird. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's so crazy, I'm definitely getting rum in this. That is so weird. Yeah, it's like spicy rum, and I am getting frosting. I definitely think it's frosting instead of marshmallow. I would say gingerbread frosting is the scent, not gingerbread marshmallow, but wow, I'm really getting that rum in there. That's so crazy. I never thought that I would smell like alcohol and candle and think that it was good, but this actually smells really good. It's like very warming, like it's already warming my body. That was so cool. But no, I have not burned this one yet, so I don't know how it throws. But that was, that was really cool. The next one I have is Vanilla Snowflake. I also bought this one at Candle Day. 
and this also has wraparound packaging and you can see through some of the snowflakes whenever this is burning but I have not burned it yet and the reason is I think I might actually return this it's it's really weird when you're smelling things in store versus when you get home um, when I smelled it in store and I read the notes I thought that I would like it the notes are frozen vanilla iced fir needles mint leaf and coconut flakes but now that I'm smelling it now I don't know if I like it it's a little too coconutty for me um, I don't know I still don't know how I feel about this one I haven't burned it yet um, and I probably won't until I decide if I'm gonna keep it or not but yeah this one's like a very unique scent I'm still on the fence about it the next one I have is slowly becoming everyone's favorite this year it is peppermint sugar cookie and the packaging on this is so gorgeous and sometimes you can see there's like a rainbow on the front of the packaging you can't see it it's not gonna do it this time but and this has that like frosted pane glass lid um, this one I have burned a few times and the scent notes are crushed peppermint vanilla extract creamy butter and soft sugar cookies mm, it smells honestly so good I love their cookie scents from Bath and Body Works and the peppermint added to this is just so beautiful it's just smells absolutely amazing and I accidentally clipped one of these wicks like way too short I hope it burns fine after that so anyways um, this one is a beautiful 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 scent so if you have not picked this up yet hopefully they'll have this at SAS and you can get it on sale for 50% off but such a good scent the next one I have is the perfect Christmas with Santa on the top how pretty I love him so cute and then it has the belt buckle lid um, this one I have burned quite a few times and um, the scent notes are fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, toasted marshmallow with essential oils. I'm not sure I'm getting any marshmallow from this. Not at all. I basically get like the pine and like cinnamon sugar. So it's like sweet but it's still like that, oh god that's so strong. It's still like that Christmas tree scent. I've only ever burned this downstairs because it is like very very strong and I almost can't handle it in my room but it's a very good strong scent so if you're looking for like a pine but still kind of sweet scent this one's really really good the next one I have is chocolate grams this is from the this just in collection it also has full wraparound packaging um, and you can see the flame from within whenever you burn it there's like a few see-through um, pieces on the packaging this one's really really good it kind of reminds me of pumpkin peanut brittle in that um, pumpkin peanut brittle almost smelled like Ritz crackers with peanut butter and this kind of smells like Ritz crackers with chocolate have you guys ever had those they they come out with those um, around Christmas time I'm pretty sure and I've had them before and they're so good that's exactly what this smells like and I have burned this a few times it's it's really good I would say maybe it's a medium thrower the notes on this are milk chocolate graham cracker caramel swirl vanilla extract with essential oils I'm not sure I get any caramel or vanilla I really just get the chocolate and the graham cracker so this is like a really good scent it's also like not too heavy and it's not too cloying um this is a really really good one so highly recommend if you haven't picked that one up yet the next one I have is sugared snickerdoodle and this one is in that like bakery packaging I have not burned this yet the fragrance notes are warm spices creamy vanilla and sugared musk I get a lot of caramel out of this I don't know why but it is like a, a spicy cookie scent not just like sugar cookies it's definitely like a spicier cookie scent so but honestly I could burn these cookie scents year-round I really don't care if it's a bakery scent I'm gonna love it so this is another bakery scent that I own the next one I have is an online exclusive this is salted caramel when I saw this one I knew that I had to pick it up because I actually love caramel scents I'm a sucker for anything with caramel in it this one is so strong wow uh, like when I unboxed it out of the packaging I didn't even take it out of its like little box that the candles come in that the, like the candle sleeve I didn't even take it out of that and you could already smell it I hadn't even opened it so this one was really strong the notes are roasted chestnuts caramelized sugar and spiced rum let's see if I get that rum in here now that I'm thinking about it oh my god I definitely do it feels like I just drank rum that is so weird now that I'm smelling all the ones with rum in it I can definitely smell that note that's so funny so I'm not really sure what roasted chestnuts smell like I've never had any 
I've never ate them, I've never seen them, I've never been around a stall that sells them. So I can't say that I know what that smells like, but it definitely smells like caramel and rum. So yeah, this one's really good. I have burned it, I think only once. I've only burned it once, but it was still like a medium high thrower. So this one was really good. The next one I have is Snowflakes and Citrus. So this one I decided to pick up because I thought that I could use this in the summertime actually. This feels like more of a summertime scent to me. The notes on this are juicy citrus, fresh spring water, and sweet mango. So yeah, to me this is like definitely a summer scent, but I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna keep this one either, just because that fresh spring water scent is not vibing with me. And I have not burned it yet, so I don't know. It's like really odd to me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about this one, but the packaging is very gorgeous. And then the next one I have is Vanilla Bean Noel. I had this one in the Holiday Traditions packaging last year too. Um, it has the snowflake lid and Vanilla Bean Noel is just such a classic. I knew I had to pick it up. The notes are vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla cake. I've yet to burn it, but it smells so good. I remember the candle last year being a light thrower, which is fine by me because I just love the smell of Vanilla Bean Noel anyway, so I don't care if it's light or not, but gosh, it's such a beautiful, soft scent. It smells so good. I actually just had to hop downstairs because I left this one um, on our coffee table in our living room. So this is actually the last candle that I have, so I actually have 13 three weeks from Bath and Body Works. So this one is Merry Cookie. And again, in that beautiful holiday traditions packaging with the reindeer on here, the notes are fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla. Again though, I'm definitely getting like some sort of caramel, or maybe it's butter that I'm getting. It might be a buttery note. But Merry Cookie is definitely just like sugar cookie, straight up sugar cookie. I, I think I had actually, um, what was it called? Fresh baked sugar cookies or sugar cookie something from the spring line of 2020. And this is, smells pretty much exactly the same. But I will never complain about a cookie scent. And I burned this a few times downstairs in our living room. My mom really loves this scent too. She likes cookie scents as well. Um, it has the snowflake lid. And yeah, what a good note to end on because Mary Cookie is such a good scent. So that's everything for my winter Christmas candle collection. Um, total that is 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. 18 Christmas candles, that's a lot. <laughs> With two that I might like return slash exchange, but um, yeah, it's a lot of candles. I'm, I think I'm definitely gonna go on a low buy next year, so <laughs> yeah. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know down below what your favorite Christmas candle from this year was. I think mine is, hmm, this is gonna be really hard. I think my favorite is either Peppermint Marshmallow, The Single Wick, or Peppermint Sugar Cookie, Three Wick. So you guys can tell what scents I like, right? <laughs> but let me know down below what your favorite winter candle has been for this year. And thank you guys so, so much for watching like and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!